Hello, this is Wampire. Okay, so first of all, let me just say thank you all for your support, your interest, and your time. Okay, so let's get uh, right to it. Um, I want to talk about the palm strike. Okay, uh, so I've been saying to you guys that, uh, you know, even though a lot of self-defense instructors say that the palm strike is safer than punching in a real-life self-defense situation, uh, I'm telling you guys that a palm strike uh, is a little bit more complicated than you might think. It's not just like, okay, I could use a palm strike instead of a punch, and that's it. No, you have to practice it, all right? So let's look right here. This is the nose. Let's say this Nerf logo right here is the nose. This is the eyes. This is the mouth, okay? So let me go for the nose, right? So on Stickman, I'm going to go for the nose like this. No problem. I'm just going straight. Bam! Right there on the nose. It makes sense. It's like, yeah, you see, palm strike works. Well, let me bring the hand down, all right? And you're going to start to see, so I, I have my arm straight, relatively straight. I bring my hand down, and you can kind of start to see why this is a problem here. What makes it a little difficult? That it starts to compromise the integrity of my wrist right here, okay? Because, you see this, the hand naturally wants to be like so. But I'm going to, I want to hit with this area, the strongest area, the palm heel. So then you can see that it jacks on the wrist. So that is the problem right there. Um, sumo wrestlers, okay, they, they solve this issue, in my opinion. I'm not a sumo wrestler, but from what I can tell is the hand now is not... At this position it's here so they turn it here to a more natural so now you're getting this whole area so by turning the hand 45 degrees outwards then that becomes less of a concern the other thing is they kind of go upwards 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 so that also helps as well and on top of that the third thing is they train this every day they hit the big old log and you know they do it every day so you know that's why i'm telling you guys that the palm strike is not so simple okay now for me my way around this is i like to you know so the bottom line is to hit with a palm heel i like to go this way and i've said to you guys before in filipino martial arts we do have this up and down motion that we like to use. So I like that idea and I come down, boom, like so. And a little while back, I showed you guys um, army combatives, uh, the matchbox technique, okay? So that's a historical technique. And there, the way I modify it personally for me is you could hold a matchbox and I could really whip around Boom, and put that leverage in there, but I'm striking with here. Okay, same idea. I'm striking with, with the palm heel, this part right here. So, whack, I can really do that. And when I actually do this hard on the uh, punching bag, I feel rel relatively fine. I could put in a ton of force and do that. But then when I go into ridge hand, it hurts like crazy. So, you know, it just, for me personally, everybody's different, but that that was my way around that. Um, anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.